Welcome back to match number two of today's MDL quadruple header. We've got an all Chinese showdown, a prelude to the all Chinese winter bracket finals. It's newbie taking on LGD forever young. LGD already made it. Could be an all LGD winter bracket finals if they keep this up. We'll see. Gentlemen, thoughts on the matchup? I really appreciate that they changed out the grill, but also kept the legs. Can we go back to that? Is that still up or did they move to draft? Let's go to the draft. Okay. Well, we're just. Oh, we can't actually. So. We can't, unfortunately. Didn't load in. Which Loaded I here. <laughs> so, do we think that uh, which is the stronger team between the two based on performance? It's hard you to tell, tell. Me, They're pretty equal, I would say. This is a 4 3 LFY versus 4 3 newbie. But I I lost a clutch gamer, so. <laughs> is that saying? Well, that <laughs> they got brooded, man. They did get brooded. Instantly takes them down a peg, perhaps. I don't know. Newbie's very hit or miss as a team in terms of like, they're they're never horrible at an event, but like sometimes they feel like that you know top three TI material, and then other events it's like, eh, you know they'll be lucky to finish top eight. Who knows? It's just hard to say. I'm like more interested. Which newbie is it going to become TI? They're going to finish top eight this event, though. Okay. Well, yeah, they've got that on lock. Yeah. Hmm, that is the 780 in action. The <laughs> power of the 780. All right. Dang. One thing I've noticed looking through Elfwise draft is that they they don't really have a strong pattern. It seems like they pick uh, very differently based on the teams that they're facing against. They're the team that first picked the Lich. They're the one of the few teams. We still think that's a misclick, though, right? No, that was intentional. I don't know. Uh, they're the few teams that still pick Crystal Maiden as a, a support, especially early in the draft. They they open Is there up another way to pick Crystal Maiden? You could pick it later if it counters. They've only played Crystal Maiden once. So yeah. Carry Crystal they, they Maiden. They picked it with the uh, Elder Titan as well. Like mm -hmm. Elder Titan CM as the first team Off pick. Off of special. It is. Uh, they they also, they, they have run the Inflame Elder Titan. Pretty much just hits creeps for 40 minutes. <laughs> then comes to the fights after that. So, yeah. Never know. Inflame in particular to me is a very volatile player. Played a very excellent day one. Day two, Ben is like asking, what are you doing? So. Yeah, the flamethrower was coming out. Not just from Ben. You were getting in on the action, Lumi. Oh no, I'm very respectful for the players, so. <laughs> that's your that's your calling card as a caster. No flames, Lumi. No flames. But some tough love at times. Yes. Yeah. All right. Got the draft online. Drow gets taken out. <sighs> yeah, the drought was kind of ignored in the last series. I think it got fourth or fifth ban in game two, but I'd still call that relatively ignored compared to like first overall ban or pick, which has largely oh, been the case for most of the games here. Mm -hmm. A little surprising, but it is quickly removed. Leaves the big team fight specialists all pretty much out there. Yeah, the puck is available. The IO is still lurking. LGD don't want any of that though. They go for the Earth Spear first. Clock also in the pool. Remaining. Newbie have been favoring those initiating off laners. Clock, Five Earthshaker, Batrider, I would say, are some of their more popular ones for Kaka. Faceless Void. He's back. Newbie this might actually be the hero of the tournament. Faceless Void. Yep. Isn't Earth Spear considered a counter because his disables are pretty instantaneous and it comes from such a far range? He's decent. He's decent, yeah. I don't know if there is like a a true counter, a hard counter to Chrono. I mean, Deuce is pretty close, I think. If you if you're in position with the Ags, maybe because then you can't actually get your mana burned. I think Face we cannot mana burn up with Deuce when she has the Ags. I think supposedly Pudge is quote unquote a counter because <laughs> you get to hook people. Did you just use Pudge and, and counter in a sentence? <laughs> what? I don't know. Oh, I was laughing supposedly. Yeah, supposedly. Oh. I was laughing at Pudge. Pudge is Pudge is Pudge used to be one of the counters. Yeah, you yeah. just hook the people that he Pudge and Venge. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of hard in practice though to depends where they are, depends where the void is. Venge is reliable. So I think Earth Spirit isn't the best support versus Void in lane because by the time you get to level two, I feel like Void is already like decently in the lane. And you definitely need the silence to have a chance to get the kill. 
So I feel like a lot of times Void almost gets a freebie in the laning stage versus uh, Earth Spirit base team. Depends on what the other support is, I guess. <coughs> yeah, the Voids have been getting a, like pretty good lanes for the most part. Or if not, they go Iron Talon Jungle and there is very little pressure or punishment for that. That's right. been largely the story of the Void picks this tournament. Was it today that we had an offlane Void that got Midas as a first item? Yep. Yeah, that was correct. Okay. Yep. Oh, this stage is crazy. It's kind of hard to, to see it with all the <laughs> crap flying around, though. Ten but it did look cool. Remaining. Oh, look at that. Look at that jacket. I want one of those. Is that a caricature of himself? <laughs> did I say that wrong, <laughs> word wrong? Caricature. caricature. You guys know what I meant. I did. <laughs> I did. No, we speak Lumi. <laughs> we speak Lumi. <laughs> that was a correct usage of caricature too. Are you impressed? Yes. <laughs> All right. Now you yeah, that's you a sign of a well-read person when you know how to use the word, but you don't know how to pronounce it. So I know you read books. L I I'm mean, Lumi well right. has a good vocabulary, and he has a great knowledge of idioms. It's more just the pronunciation. but The pronunciation is the best part. It's just that in my normal like day-to-day -day use you just don't use that word too often so i think like, people don't correct me yeah. puts out on cast this is the time to debut it <laughs> and then get it wrong <laughs> and then have my co-caster correct me that as, long as, you, me as long as you use it right that's more important than a pronunciation i guess so. it's not that common of a word <laughs> unless you're like at the beach and people want to draw you <laughs> this word you or you're common. someone that people just mock all the time yeah political cartoons yeah. oh okay i see yeah chris christie Mm -hmm. Lots of great caricatures. Caricatures of him. <laughs> so Batrider with the first phase next man still pretty good. We have seen a fair amount of Oracle in this tournament, but I don't know if Nubia are going to pick it up. I do not believe they have picked it up yet in any of their drafts at this tournament. Uh, do you want AA and Oracle as your support? That is a pretty terrible oh. support duo. I think they might just leave it in the pool for that reason. Like if they pick Oracle, great, we'll just Crush these lanes. The and try and lane's them. not bad though. Like you can fortune's end into into cold, cold feet. feet. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Is that a wombo combo? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, and then you purifying flames them and they can't heal it off with the ice blast. Oh my god. Wow, mind blown. Right? I expect this AA to be like <laughs> napalm three Synergy. times in the lane and just dies. Especially not if it's a try lane. What if it's a mid-A? I think, it, yeah, if it's a... Well, you can Icy Vortex now, right? What? You can, like, Icy Vortex and just run away from the bat, right? Before you no. could. But now maybe. No, it's... That looks good on paper, but if you turn around to a Vortex, and then you turn around again... Well, you just run away, dude. You put it in behind you. put it you. in front of you. Or you put it in the direction that you're running towards yeah. you, so you never have to turn back. Okay. All right. I like, I like that. You think Kohan's going to fight Bat Rider one-on-one? -on -one? Ten seconds remaining. Conehead. Conehead. Excuse me. C classic ice first. He's ice, he's ice cream cone. Is that supposed to be like a... Conehead is Darkseer. Like a negative... Do you think they're from the, some, the same family? They could be. We gotta yeah. read the lores. Conehead's generally not a positive. Same genus, maybe. Yeah, not the same species. Ten seconds remaining. That's an intense face. Quap pretty good Five here, although there is... Some catch. They still don't have that much damage, actually. Reserve time. On LGD FY. Who to combo? We see Ursa sometimes versus Faceless Void if you expect it to be an offlane void. However, a newbie have what? Run the void once, and it has been a safe lane void. So they don't actually know where this void is going to go. They've also lost with the Faceless oh. Void, also oh. with two. So this is a, uh, we saw it banned out when OG tried with the void. So what are they running with the Oracle? Doesn't really do much right now. Save people from Chronosphere. Better than a hook. More reliable. Mm. Mm. Would no? you just get Dazzler? I think, I think False Promise is really good if once you False Promise, the person is free. They need a building header. It's like, I mean, there's what? Death Prophet is the main one that comes to mind. Dragon Knight. Or okay, DK. Or DK. Okay. Didn't you guys say the other day that AA is supposedly good against Oracle because the Ice Blast, you know, even if you false promise, you can't heal. Right? 
Supposed, supposedly. 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 <laughs> False Promise is eight seconds long, and Ice Blast is eight seconds long. So if you guess it after Ice Blast. Countered. Countered. Five seconds remaining. I like it. How does it interact if you, <sighs> like... Like if you ice blast and then you false promise, but you like heal them while they're ice blasted. I don't. I assume they don't heal at the end because they wouldn't have gotten healed during the ice blast. Or yeah. Does when does the healing actually like happen? I think it happens. I think it happens. I think it works. I actually. Think it all it happens. I'm at not the end. positive. I think it all happens at the end, right? Because yeah. the heal happens at the end, right? So if yeah. you don't have the. So the maybe it is a counter. To yeah. Ice blast. I, from from actually playing against, uh, I pay a I pick a a lot whenever the enemy team has like Alk or or, or Huskar. Mm -hmm. And it always feels like Orgo is just owning me. Just the heal, from playing. The heal block has a priority over that from Ice Blast, so that it still gets applied and doubled by False Promise. Ooh. There so you go. It is All right. confirmed. So kind of Oracle AA counter then. Yes, I believe so. Um, also, LGD, they go for the Super Dragonite, probably his most iconic here, either that or like the tempo controlling Alchemid, but there are phases, that's not a thing nowadays. There are phases of Super's career where he just sucks at Dota. Because his heroes aren't good. No, I was going to follow up by, but DK is, like, he never sucks on DK. That's his rock. Like, that is his rock. Here comes the push. Hmm. Not all that much control for Lycan. There's basically Chrono and X. Armlet Hero, though. Armlet Mask of Madness. Both items are not terribly good. He doesn't have to go he Armlet Mask of Madness. He doesn't, but I think yeah. it's one of the best builds on him. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. Still, LGD clearly wanting to push here pretty early. Get that early map control. Got good pick off with the Earth Spirit Bat. Maybe that Dragonite Blink or Shadow Blade. Good Roche potential. So they newbie are very lacking in this this objective taking. So they think it's an off lane void, despite newbie playing Fates of Void twice in the position one role. Oh, Lycan needs to watch out when he actually uses his how. If the Ice Blast hits and then he buffs everyone's like total HP pool? Yeah, but you still get the HP. Do you? Yeah. Because it's not a heal. Yeah, it's not yeah. a heal. Okay. As far it's as interesting. I know. I have not seen that interaction. All right, what's it going to be? I did like the gyrocopter that was picked, that they are thinking of position one. I think it worked out pretty well in the last series. Uh, other heroes to combo with the Faces Void. Again, we're not too sure. It could just In be like a Titan or yeah. something like that. But oh, okay. Wait, so core AA. Huh? KP what? is a KP Kanka. What? Oh wow. So what is the core Kanka build? Offlane Kanka build nowadays. Well, I say nowadays. Any days. I've never I've seen this never before. Never seen a competitive. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Or have I? Mm. Like, how does he survive in the lane? It is a pretty weak lane. So Earth Spear is not going to be there, and his Oracle Lycan. That's I think good. Lycan beats him 1v1, right? You just give Lycan uh, quicker boots. Just you can go, just go Max Tidebringer in lane. That's pretty strong. Go smack him. Yeah, but then you're you're pushing the lane all the time. That's fine. It's Oracle's not there. Sometimes pushing the offlane is good, because then you can be in a safer position. You could stack them uh, Ancients with his Torrent. Hmm. Got him. Got him. Maybe a roll swap, you know? IG's been swapping. <laughs> Maybe new VR now, too. Maybe. Carry AA Possibly. for Faith. <laughs> no. <laughs> Has Faith played anything except support? Not that I... Not I can't. Maybe in Dota 1. And he's always the 5 support. Yeah, he's he, never the 4. He is a very selfless man. He keeps the Faith in his team. Who do you like better, gentlemen? Whose draft do you prefer? I I have no idea because it is offline Coca. Offline Coca, I just I I'm not sure what it offers. It, I mean, obviously somewhere in between like a a mid Kunkka and like a support Kunkka, but what is that exactly? Apparently, it offers uh, connection failure. The game can't handle this offline Kunkka. I like our Fly's draft more, at least when it comes to like finishing the game. Oh, I, he I, has Mookie has your uh, has the Husky as his icon. Yeah. Oh, he, he's had it for Dusky the Husky. He's had it for like over a year. Oh. That that is like a very Moogie looking courier. Like if if I didn't know the name of it, you could tell me it was called Moogie. I'd believe it. 
Oh, that courier is sweet. This courier is really popular in China. I've seen multiple teams use it. The Jin and Yin Fox Spirit. If it's on Radiance White and then it's on Dire, it's like... like so this one has the Trail light. of the Burning Doom and the Creator's Light. Okay, so the offlane, it, he is still staying in the offlane KP. He does have poor man shield and tango. I wonder if he's going to go max torrent build or what on earth is going up with that. This has been like maybe the most experimental tournament I can recall since last TI. Yeah, I mean, like the everyone, entire last year. Like this tournament actually doesn't matter in terms of TI placement and e invites and all that stuff, right? So teams are trying stuff. So it's, it's really like a very limited number of tournaments where you can say that. You know, it's like basically that one month window between TI. Qualifiers ending and TI main event. Right. Any time, any other time of the year, if you win a tournament, you're like. Last year there was Summit and Star Ladder uh, in between, um, but neither of those events really had all the top teams because right. you know they're a bit smaller, uh, and I think the teams just kind of wanted to boot camp and. I mean, Dreamhack, it. Dreamhack Austin is coming up, so that's another tournament before TI that. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Austin. Got my American cities. Somewhere in the armpit of America. Armpit <laughs> of America. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow it produced Ben, so there's at least something good okay. happening down south. Uh oh, where's this bat going? Is he trying to like rush towards the lane to pull? Oh, Kaka with the the double chafe action here. Getting to work now. He's got that chilling touch. Some this extra is damage. Yes, TPs. Is he? I'm not even gonna Moogie, bring the creep wave up. could get in range here. Oh, time oh. dilate. The Swag plays. The TP. Oh, Firefly gonna be wearing off soon. He comes That's back first blood. down. See ya. So wow. it's day two in flame. The time shot, dilation yeah. level. One. Why didn't he? I thought he was gonna go north, drag the creep wave a little bit, TP back, and then he would get double weight of the tower. Isn't that the play? I think so. That's a play. They There's no way. TP. There is no way he could drag the creeps and TP out without taking. You would just go damage, up. right? It's really hard in the trees. Like if you no, cut but down, he burns the trees. Yeah, but it's a single line and it's creeps falling. You not heroes. Even if it's heroes, it's still not easy. I think he was dead if he's TPing. Have you seen three three play Bat Rider in his offlane position where he does this all the time? No. He is a TI player this year. Okay. That's what he does a lot. He actually hides in between the T1 and the T2s, T2 a lot. He fireflies, brings them back, gets double way to the tower. And oh, you know, I, I've seen a Batrider trying to do that the other day, hiding in the trees, mm -hmm. and then he just got scouted. It seems like teams are actually actively checking for where the Batrider is, at least uh, well, the in thing this is, tournament. It's really hard because he comes in from a side shot. He doesn't go in from the bounty run. I think that was it. Does what inflamed downfall was. He tried to smoke through to that side right. instead of going in through the north. So before all of that happened, I think Alphawai's mid player also got his bounty rune denied, right? Because those three heroes just walked up his ramp, took the bounty. Is that what happened? Looks like it, yes. All right. There is no uh, bounty rune for Super, but Super does not need gold. Because he's Super? Because he's I think this is by far his best hero, personally. And he's got to like it. So. Lane is fun. At least for now. See Kaka trying for a curry snipe. Camera control. 780 out of 800 right now. Doing this the KP <laughs> kill bottom. Let's see how much farther we're going to slip down. They swoop around. They want a piece of super. I'll roast him, cook him. Take that kill. Faith with the last hit. Yo, the Elso Ray. Doing work. The what, Sol Ray? Sol Ray. What's Sol Ray? So means sun. Oh, S O L. Oh. All yeah. right, Lumi. I'm a well read foe, dude. I can dig it. Yeah. You got a C in Spanish. So I wasn't sure if you knew what that word meant. I got a C in Spanish. I got it. <laughs> C as in yes? I know I know <laughs> it. I know it from video games, not from Spanish. Oh, yeah. I don't even know Master that's of Orion 2, the human start on Soul. That's like every beach name in the game. It's like. Something, something, soul. Yeah. And Afu is on this. A lot of pressure oh, all over the place. They're trying to dive super at the same time. KP also in trouble here. Lobs out the torrent and down he goes. Still super able to survive that extra bit of aggression here in the mid lane. I think I've seen offline Kuka once and it was actually Zai when he was on secret. Okay. But it wasn't very good. Like, he didn't really offer that. 
another hero wouldn't have offer, right? Yeah, because he, he has no way to really survive. I guess you can kind of like X E board throw. God, that's but. slow from the vortex. Just brutal. Com combined with the time dilation, they'll easily take down that bat rider. Time dilation is so good. That spell is very underrated. This bat, this bat is not having fun right now. It's in flame, man. Flame's been in Strug City since day number two. Ooh, oh, nice block. KP okay, with the body block. Now S triple C. Haze? Looking to kill him up before Easy the haze comes haze. in. Oh. Still, the power of soul compels you to the grave. I think he needed grave. to walk right instead of up the ramp because he would have easily dodged away from the Sunray. I think he thought he was going to get uh, Fates Edicted from the Oracle. Oh, okay. Fair enough, right? Maybe. I didn't see where the Oracle was. He was right up the, right up the hill. Okay. Up the gut, as they say. But the, yeah, if he were right, he wouldn't have had to rely on Because let me tell you, that, that uh, Phoenix turn rate on the Sunray <laughs> is uh, pretty slow. It's Pretty like one of those really <laughs> old cars when the steering wheel, you gotta just like you gotta like turn like two hand times, it, yeah. you know, like brace your feet for maximum leverage. I had my old car, like the wheel would lock, you know, and it was really hard to, to fix it. 2001 Toyota Sienna. We won't talk about what you used to call that, Ben. LD's van. <laughs> LD's van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's oh. keep it clean. Was it a white one? No, nope. it was like no, a gray it was one. Gold -ish. It was gold like Chaos Knight's sun sucking <laughs> shield. Oh my goodness. That was super doing lane anyway. Wait, that was the one focused. that got vandalized, right? What? Vandalized. <laughs> you were watching. Did it? Did it? Um, Outside the old house. No, it got like destroyed by the sprinklers, and there's a bunch of hard water deposits, so it nice. like ruined the paint job, but it was all rusted on the undercarriage anyway. It was a 15-year-old van. Put her out to pasture, the old lady. But anyway. Still looking okay here for LFY. Down a couple kills, but farming well on their Lycan and Dragon Knight. Batrider definitely in Strug City, though. Um, Not as much as the Konka. But. Which of the offlane feeding is a bigger deal, you guys think? I would say Bat. I think Bat needs a lot more items. Kuka, you can just transition into support, just throw a boat after Kronos here. You're still pretty Get useful. to level 6, you're fine. Yeah. What Bat. about in terms of like feeding the enemy carry? Ooh, feeding the enemy carry. Uh, I think Lycan comes online like a bit earlier, right? Maybe I think more for the team. Lycan's easier to farm with, so it's not as big of a deal if he gets farmed. I think Faces Void having a okay. big start and getting Midas really is. Go to speed up the game. Chrono Chrono Spear comes out on top. Sunray. Ooh. That's a hard one to get out of. This is the what most. What a hate parade for this bat. Yeah. This is the most successful Phoenix uh, early game in a while, right? He's just everywhere. He's playing this Phoenix like it's Night Stalker. Dude, Kaka September are best Chinese Phoenixes. Why, why add the adjective Chinese? Just could just say they're the best Phoenixes. Are they the best Phoenixes? I don't. Well, who's better? Fly? Fly's. Fly is very good on Phoenix. I would say Fly, Fly is pretty close. Okay. But I think those two are like way better than any other. I like this play by Newbie. They're not going to let Super get those free attacks off in the tower. In fact, they're going to kill him off. Another big rotation from Kaka. Big dive by Apu okay. in turn with the help of the Oracle. They do secure that Quap kill as a trade. Phoenix swooping in, looking for Apu. He might pay for this, though. The nukes coming out from DDC. Oh, Supports are savage today. As they rack up the frags. Do you have like a heat seeking sunray onto the DK? Yeah. That's just such a smart move. Like, so many te teams will just let the Dragon Knight hit the tower like five, six times for free and bring it down to half health, but they immediately rotate and shut it down. But normally it's so hard to kill that Dragon Knight, right? But Phoenix sunray, percentage damage, no problem. Remember when that used to be pure? Yeah. The max max sunray and just get blasted. Nobody's pushing just against just look you. Look at that. It's still pretty damn good. Get wrecked, DK. Oh my god. <laughs> what an obnoxious spell. Kaka's enjoying it. This is actually a pretty big deal. How like leveled he is. Yeah, he's yeah, gonna be really like is. pairing up with the next Chronos. He's gonna go in here momentarily. And oh, super, it feels like. Gotta be careful about the dragon tail, though. 
looked like he really wanted to dive that. This dagger is like rendering the bottle fairly ineffective. Just can't bottle in between. Shrining up. DK going back to base with a full bottle. Feels bad. Hit that shrine, get back in business mid, and <laughs> it's Batrider's turn to get taste the sun ray. Scorched. They're having problems leaning because if you go to any lane, you get sunray. If you go top, Chrono Spirit's up again, and everyone's just worried about dying on the side Speaking of the Speaking of board. which, they're going to find Afu here. The sunray is on cooldown. Doesn't matter, Afu. Beaten down with the help of Faith, who is working towards the Midas. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, KP in trouble. He's going to lob out this boat. The torrent covering his retreat as well. Tries to stay alive. So much heal, but is it going to be enough? Decent wolf blocking against Super. He can't quite get in position. KP's got Man. the move speed with the phase and the boat, and he gets out. The boat debuff and the, the heal is keeping him alive. Look at the Sunray, though. As I say that, Super did finish him off. Yo, Kaka just have him on move command on that Sunray. You can't do that. And but somehow tanks that to tower it. and lives. Yeah, Faith Midas coming real fast. Meanwhile, on the Ancient Apparition. Wait, Faith has a Midas? Almost. 9.45 gold in the bank. Got his Gloves of Haste already. This is the first time I've seen him. 4-0 and 2. Yo. He rich? Well, he, he stole the first blood. He I earned believe it, it was the he first blood the first that, that <laughs> killed mid. You can tell Lumi's a support player. <laughs> so entitled. Oh, Batrider's going oh, good first. Here we go. Here we go. The mom is back. You're going to get silenced. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> if I hear you say that one more time. <laughs> But Batrider going hood. There is actually no silence in this game, so. <laughs> what? Yeah, there is. Earth Spirit. Oh, sorry, I thought you meant a Raiden Girl got. Come on. No, the Void got it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> sorry. I thought it was a Lycan. Yeah, the Lycan actually went flat. Yeah, he's doing old school. Ne uh, Do we see that Necro Bolt coming yeah. out next? The thing is, Armlet Mask is not, not that good for the AA. Right. Armlet is very difficult to Oh, he is on. going Necro. Sorry, I didn't actually see his quick buy. Necro's good versus Void. Void struggles a lot versus Mana Burn. Especially if you catch him with the Mask of Mana. So they're going to root Moogie up here. Time walks away. Doesn't have the ult ready. Monet's going to commit for this. No TP support. No, never mind. He's back. That kill was only possible if they had the bat last over. Karka. Drop in the egg mid. Might help them secure this tower. LFY pretty weak at tower defense without the bat blink. Or at least like something. As Afu finds, as I say that, the perfect boulder smash roll forward. Still though, the follow up is not there. They'd love to get a kill out of this. The ice blast comes through. Super's gonna dodge at the boat also. Coming in a bit late, but a well-timed Fate Zedic now. Connecting with the Chronosphere, the team fight of Newbie, overwhelming. Still Afu tries to fight it out. The last one on the void is a bit late, but he is Currently afflicted by his own Mask of Man is still bashing though. The Oracle heals on point by DDC, but they've still lost two. Everybody low on newbie, but few have fallen. And now another catch onto the Batrider. The rain drops the cloak, trying to keep him alive. They pop Woo! that Phoenix. DDC is the solution. Feels like he did more work than the rest of his team combined there. Yeah, the big problem for newbie in that team fight is the uh, the Void and the Phoenix never actually partnered up with their spells. Faith. He wants the Midas. It's going to be delayed here. The Magnetize from Afu. Oh, that's a big play. Even if he goes down, well worth it. Oh, wait. And he won't. DDC's there with the save again. Damn. DDC MVP. Oracle MVP. This is what playing Lich does to you. <laughs> it fills you with dark power. He leveled up so much as a person after sending so many scrubs to the dark pit. Or was it the bottomless <laughs> the pit? Bottomless <laughs> pit? The bottomless pit. The bottomless pit. Scrubs. <laughs> I want to see scrubs used in the official lore for a hero. Or just dumpsters. Here we go. Got trying to catch on Super here with the Mask of Madness. And what do you know? Your old pal, the Sunray. Now the Ice Blast and an Assault of Ice and Fire. The dragon will perish. Yeah, what happened in Team 5 mid is the Chronosphere and the Egg wasn't timed together. In fact, the Egg was used before. They couldn't even Chrono and Sunray. That was just kind of the easy combo. Because Sunray was also easy, so... I think Newbie needs to watch their cooldown a little bit better. This is one of the worst Dragonite games I've seen from Super. Like, he's just getting hated on. 
Normally he, even if he has a rough lane, he comes back pretty well into the mid game, gets that fast blink or shadow blade, and he's the initiator. With the, the bat having a tough time, it means LFY struggle to really make these committed jumps on the newbie. Okay, and Flame has just bought a casual cloak. Whew! Dodge a bullet there. Saying good is not the bill. They won KP, but he did get off the boat. Still the Oracle nukes from DDC just chunking him down. Killing spree for him. He's a mad fragger. 3-0 and 7. Oracle getting items is good. They've only got 9 kills, but he's been in on 10 of them. Okay. What a player. How is that even possible? I don't know. He's 4-0 and 7. They have 10 kills. <laughs> What? Now that that is an 820 Lumi right there. That is an 820 Oracle. The math doesn't check out. <laughs> no, seriously, though, how is that actually possible? Did somebody get like denied? Does uh, I don't know. I guess deny gives you an assist. No. All I know is I'm loving the Oracle right now. The saving grace for LFY, and they'll need more, because here comes Moogie once again. Bash, bash. And a little more bash. He didn't need to cast any more spells. Masking Madness is good for situations like this, when you don't have a sun strike to help finish people off. So Necro 3 on the way. Where did, where did LFI kind of transition from here, guys? It's a lineup that obviously wants to push pretty early, you know, map control with the bat. But they're kind of struggling to hit their stride, and they're trying to push into a very strong five-man. Colonel Sphere was just used, though, so now it's a really good time yep. for them to take objectives. And it will be straight into the Roshan pit. So there is, like, a small trend of bat riders skipping the drums as an offlane position these days. Kaka going in. Is he going to egg? He will. Oh my god, them fire spirits. Oh Toying with super. Just to show respect. Meanwhile, Afu driven back. Buying time. For... They have the blink on Batrider. He's not smoked up though, which is. He needs a smoke. I don't think take this road. Roche. This is. No, it's not going to Slow going without the lichen. Super really just playing the bait. Here they go. be going to fall for it. There's the lasso debut with the blink initiation. Now Afu coming in with the lockdown. They want to finish off Kaka. They will munch him up. Monet quickly chewing through him and now turning for KP. They're going to get the Kunkka too. Looking for more. The Magnetize still all over three. They're going to chase this one out, but they shrine up. Oh my god. The man who didn't make it to the shrine is dead again. Faith. Well, he's got the Midas now, but LFY are still catching up. Have to be very careful when you use Chronospheres in this game, if you're Moogie. It's good for solo kills, but it might cost you more by not having it in a later fight. Yep. He's getting pretty fat, though. Going for kind of two farming items with a mask into the, into the Maelstrom. Do you think he needs to go back for Lincolns? Because Bat and Dragon Tail is probably going to lead to a kill every time. On the void, you mean? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, he has boat and sunray to heal him up. Right now, they have damage issues, right? They have problems killing people. LFY has damage issues, yeah. Oh, I think newbie has oh. damage issues. Really? Yeah. Even with like the sunray ice blast? I think newbie don't have damage issues. I think. I Who has damage issues? I think LFY has damage issues. DK is under farm. You're at an awkward spot where Lycan doesn't have a ton of damage because Necrobook is not upgraded. I think Newbie has a ton of damage. Hal, though. Hal adds ah, a ton. Okay, Hal. Hal's Hal, really yeah. good. It's not max Hal, though. Surprisingly, he went for a 2-4-2-4. Two, four, two, four, yeah, in front. Monet wants to go in. There's the lasso. Tries to get out of this cold feed. Almost two-shotting KP down. Oh, that Necrobook sure packs a punch, though. The Lycan keeps on getting healed up. Surviving for now. The egg deployed is going to force Super away, but Afu sneaks in from the side. And he'll run. Clean up the ice cream. Now chasing on to S Triple C with the Necro Silence. 3. The constant silences. Too much damage. He shoots. He scores. Another takedown for LFY. And now the Phoenix falls to LFY. All right, LFY does not Showing have Showing a issues. second sign of life. Oh, uh, yeah, we were talking about what? The Void going for Lincolns. Lincolns like, yeah. I think if he goes Lincolns, he's not going to have enough damage because of the, of the Oracle. Oracle blocks. The majority of the damage blocks the boat, the torrent, yep. uh, 
AA Ice Blast, most of Quap's damage. So the only damage that they actually have during the boat is Typebringer, or during the uh, during the Fate's Edict is Void and Typebringer, and he's not really right clicking very hard. I guess Sonic Wave too, but that's all. KP are gonna. Oh, looks like Inflame wants to do a little kidnapping. Big swoop in. Egg not available, trying to scout things out and set up for the Chrono, and here comes Boogie. But he gets silenced right as he tries to jump in. The boat crashes through, the setup is there. Afu not able to prevent this initiation, but the team's able to tank through it, at least for now. Meanwhile, the Bat finds another kill on Kaka. They lock Super in position, but the Oracle heals. DDC hanging on for the team, still newbie snatching the Aegis, getting the Roche kill. And now, looking for more, the Lycan falls, the Big Bad Wolf down, the Dragon on the run, Afu coming back in. DDC nuking, nuking, just keeps on pumping out the damage. He's 8-0 and 8, and he just won't stop. S Triple C's got to run away. They finally figure out, nuke the Oracle. That's the solution, but it means free reign for the rest of the team. He will eventually fall but it took them too much to take them down. A salvage fight here for LFY. 8-1 and 10. SCCC did get the Aegis, yes. and it already he already used it. Well, he got the kill streak on, on the AA, I think, with that in mind, right? That's a uh, huge Oracle? bounty. Sorry, sorry, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah. 800 gold. Yeah, yeah. Got wow. the Oracle kill streak. That's huge for a You're either like 50,000 gold behind, and when you get 800 gold for killing Oracle, or this Oracle is almost beyond gone. Yep. <laughs> He's more farmed than the offlane Kunkka. What items does the Oracle have? Uh, Aether Lens and Arcane. Damn, dude, you never seen that. Generally, like, what? Oracle... 20 minutes? That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Normally, And he's playing, like, the hard support here. Like, he's buying a lot of wards Dude, even stuff. saving people inside the pit. He face edict one person, and then he... Uh, false promise, another person. Do they need to try to prioritize him more oh, in these yeah, fights? Yeah, sure. always. Yeah. Tunnel vision on the Oracle. Last team fight, they threw all of these spells on the Lycan. You know, Ice Blast and Sonic Wave. They can't find him, though. It's it's hard to find him, and it's hard to go on him, because like you've got the Lycan charging at you, the bat scouting you. That was what happened last fight. Right. They also have no Orchid on the Queen of Pain. He's going for more defensive Lincolns on the uh, on the Quap. Very scared of the Lasso and the Dragon Tail that you mentioned. That's for reasons why the Void should get it. And they're going to have two Lincolns on their team, but no way to jump the back line. AKP getting nuked down. Apu with the catch there to start things off. Can they focus the Kunkka down? They will. No rum today. It'll be a sober fight from here as Faith gets pushed back into the waiting arms of the Flame Break. Ever since he queued up that Midas recipe. I feel like every time I, s I check him, he's dying. It's really slowing down the item progression. Still loving The up. one time Faith manages <laughs> to borrow Midas. I know, it <laughs> just chain feeds. I mean, this is a normal Faith game, looking at it from this point. He he's, just has extra Midas. He's almost the lowest in net worth with the Midas. That's pretty bad. He That's almost had it at, like, what, 12, 13 minutes? Yeah, yeah, he had it pretty early. It's still important for the A to get levels. Like, him hitting that's, level that's 12 and, and 18 give is... the man credit. It's fine. I mean, he could be getting more gold, you know, with that level <laughs> 10. And a 10 GP, yeah, 10 GPM, dude. Mm, questionable. They do have damage issues, so spell him. Probably the right choice here. I mean, I... And that also makes uh, the pipe for this bat the right choice, which is now complete. Okay. I like the pipe, but just not before. Casual close, okay. If you're struggling. Yeah, I, I almost think that he should have just... Like, he thought about going drums by going bracer. 011 on LG right now has been like, okay, I'm off lane bat, straight blink, forget anything else. And I think in this game, his team was somewhat struggling early on, right? I think had he had the early blink, he, he might have salvaged the early game situation a little bit better, but it's fine. Everything is okay now. They made it past the hard stage of the game. So Super is going just straight BKB. No blink, no Shadow Blade. Why go defensive items when you have DDC on your back, dude? Yeah. And it is all magic damage for newbie. Also, Afu has been playing out of his mind. Yes. Like, his but he, he, You know, it's one of those, like, he always does on our spirits. Like, I kind of just like, eh. Kaka, Standard no. amazing Afu game. <laughs> oh, look, it's Afu again. Got him. That's a pretty big deal for newbie with no buyback on this Phoenix. Might just mean that tier two down. But I hope I don't want to go for that. Looks like they want to do some warding first. Okay, they are starting to congregate. The Necro 3 is complete. Like in, uh... Real building demolisher at this point. One man wrecking crew here. Well, I guess it's a three wolf wrecking crew technically. But ben, the, who's counting? The old Lycan build, if you're going Necrobook, you would max your passive and your wolves first, right? How is the, yes. the last spell you max? I think so. Yeah, yeah. so. 
the old build. Yeah, I think, I think that's why he... Strat, yeah. But yeah. that was before how was one of the Super best good. Yeah. Here right. they go. They've got the pipe complete. The high ground siege commences. LFY walking right into the lion's den as the full five-man combination of newbie has come online, and then now they see their op opportunity. They come in oh, no. looking for the Ice Blast, but DDC stays back. He's got the False Promet, lets it go, trying to keep Super alive with the BKB. The Bat protected as well. LFY hanging onto this. They've killed off the Phoenix, and now they're on the hunt forward. The Wolf rampages through Faith. He doesn't care about the Shrine, make it a double for him. And now time for buildings. Those can't run, those can't hide. If you throw the full five-man ult combo on LFY, Shrug it off like that. I, I don't know how you win this game as newbie. You guys are speechless. I mean, they didn't. Uh, they didn't catch the two supports. Like Afu and DDC was out of it, and then the Chrono came before the egg came out. So Phoenix stood under the Chrono. I was like, oh my god. Oh, what a choke coming out from. How do you game. catch? Like, I feel like they maybe need a blink on the void if they really want to catch DDC. Or Shadow Blade or uh, something. Or you need a smoke around. If you don't have the items, you smoke around. Oh, have Elfly overstayed their welcome here. They did oh. get their axe. No, Afu says. Drills two, looking for more. Now the Sunray coming out. The boat connected as well. Super just so tanky, so resilient with these heals. No, never mind that. He's dead. Okay. More like Afu looking for the two hero kicks once again. They're going to munch down Mugi. They run forward looking for more Afu as he dove too far. Very confident, and with the help of the Necro Army, they chase off the Faith, they're farming them at the Tier 4s. Newbie are getting BM'd out of the game by LFY, now up to a 10k gold lead. Oh, Dragonite died, that's something. This game is Earth Spirit Simulator. Like, he's just walking in, two-man kick, two-man silence. Easy combos. Oracle 8-1 and 17, uh, been on them 25 of 29 kills. I think they're having a lot of trouble causing havoc in the back lines. So remember when we saw maybe just play in the last series and he would always be flanking around mm. and setting up um, setting up for the rest of his team by making the support sting twice. It's, what is Oracle supposed to do when the co-op's already on top of you? Right? You, not much. You cast yeah, a defensive spell on yourself, which is what accomplish. you want. Yeah, yeah, for yeah, the job accomplished. But they're not able to do that. And yeah, he might die if he goes back there, but he's pretty tanky. Oh, look at this. He's got a Glimmer cape now. Yeah, yep. he has Glimmer. That's You're not killing anyone who DDC gets his spells or his abilities off on. I, I still think like Void and Phoenix, maybe like a two-man smoke and just wrap from behind. They, uh, do they have enough damage by those? By themselves? Well, no, you provide the control and then the rest oh, of the team, yeah. Sonic Wave and then Bolt and everything, right? Like, But you're right, Like the, the Chronosphere has to catch DDC. And it has not caught him, I want to say, not once this entire game. I don't think so, yeah. He hasn't gotten caught by anything, really. Well, they are going to find a solution in the Diffusal Blade for the Faces Void, one of the most common pickups versus the Oracle. Dispel the Fates Edict. You can also dispel the Glimmer Cape if you time it perfectly right. But it's extremely important that they can nuke people down with magic damage. I would love a stat to see how much magic damage the Fates Edict has blocked. I think it's blocked, like, five boats. <laughs> Which is incredibly good value. Casual 2,000 damage. Yep. I guess more now with the level 2 boat. Not to mention a lot of the damage over time from the Ancient Apparition from the Queen of Pain. Multiply that by the Veil that the Queen of Pain has had for most of the game. And you're talking, you know, maybe like 4,000, 5,000 damage mitigated with just one spell. And we're still very early on into the game. New so. BR trying to catch up here, play keep away, but LFY are steamrolling down bottom. I think earlier today there was a first phase Oracle pick, or ban yeah, rather. Yep. Yeah. And we were like, eh. I have to say, Oracle has been consistently dominant in almost every game this story. All these players have been, like, just godly. Yeah, on really Oracle. good on like, the hero. Yeah. Way more so than some of the other heroes. I see. Ah, foo. Cheeky little bugger. It okay. is a hero with a very high This is going to set up Inflame to play Hyper Aggro, just tanking the tower. May have given Inkling that there's a ward in the neighborhood, but here comes the zoo. Oh. Quickly trying to deal with the tower. Oh. Now the Magnetize catching up five. Oh. Afu starts the party. Monet wants to join in. He's brought the boom box, and now the egg gets committed. Monet thinks about going on it. Now it decides to back away. They want objectives. Afu now rolling out, wasting so much time for a newbie. Even if they can kill him, the boat crashes <laughs> into the chrono. It's only caught Monet. And again, DDC chilling in the back lines, healing everyone up, staying alive. Glimmer's still ready, even if he needs it. They can't kill anyone. Newbie are looking like newbies right now in the face of this LFY onslaught. They are getting styled on, gentlemen. Oh. 
This is beyond pwned. Beyond. Best Lich player. Now, best Oracle player. He trained <laughs> for this, okay? He the won the group stage was all prep. Like, the Earth Spirit is doing what the co-op should be able to do, right? Just, like, destroy these supports. But it's crazy that the support is doing a better job. Uh, you mean, like, that. five man ulting the entire lineup by himself? Yeah, forcing out a buyback immediately by yeah. killing support. Like, he is, A, not dying, too. That's, that's the even crazier part. It really needs to be, like, a, a mount healed or damage blocked stat. Yep. Like you well, said, Well, they do ben. have healed. Damage mitigated. Damage mitigated. Yeah. Who would have had the hi highest damage mitigated if there's the stats around? Probably Bristleback. Mitigated backer? from just like stuff. Oh, just as a hero in general. It's probably like Bristleback. Yeah. Probably Bristleback. That's a good guess. This is the thing about Super too. He doesn't have a great landing phase, but he always finds his way back into the game. And always builds those team fighting items. What a I'm player. gonna say that he got bailed out a bit. KP has oh, a yeah, shadow blade, but there's a gem ready on the bat. Has he seen him yet? Certainly now he has. Hey KP, how you doing? Catches him out with the lasso, locks him in position. Meanwhile, Afu trying to deal with that Queen of Pain. Rolls forward, has managed the silencer. In the meanwhile, they run roughshod over the back lines, killing off the Phoenix, dealing with the Kunkka, and now searching for more. Follow up, Boulder Smash connects on Faith, holds him in place. The struggle continues. G freaking G, LFY, deal with newbie. That's pretty dominant. The thing about the Lincolns, too, it doesn't do anything against the Earth Spirit. That's also, the reason why I did not favor the Lincoln's build over perhaps a more aggressive build. Because, like, even if you go defensively, you still can't do anything with it. And you still have to play very, very far back and very scared, and you can't assault DDC. DDC owned this game. Great job. Good Oracle play. They could have focused him a bit more, but, I mean, his position was immaculate. Also, the lineup allowed him to be in a good position. They had good scouting. They had great frontliners, so... Offline Kunkka, also not sold on it. Same yeah, that's true. Yeah, we had one. an offline Kunkka this game. Pretty it's much basically did, nothing. did a, what a four position would have done. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're like, maybe they wanted a Kunkka. was like, ah, oh, I really want to play Phoenix instead of, instead Kunkka. of Kunkka. And Kunkka, Kunkka sounds like, oh, I'll try boring. It. Yeah. it kinda sounds like my name, Kaka Kunkka. <laughs> Should work, right? Kaka Kunkka? KP Kunkka? KP, yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but maybe some drafting experimentation too much too many shenanigans yeah, yeah they're in the winner bracket yeah Give a not game. not for much longer at this rate, <laughs> fair enough they're made they're on the quick trip to the lower bracket here let's see if they can halt the plummet guys game two is coming up lgd forever young off to the races they lead the series one to nothing 